But uh, we continue, uh, and I am very pleased to invite here uh, Mr. Raimo Vorinen, whom we already met yesterday, and with him, uh, Miss Jana Kettunen. They both come from University of Jyväskylä from Finland. And in addition to everything that was said about Raimo yesterday, I want to add that he is an adjunct associate professor at Gimli University of Iceland, affiliate professor at University of Malta, a research associate with Florida State University Center, and he is also an executive board member and vice president of IAEVG. And uh, Ms. Kettunen is a researcher at the Finnish Institute for Educational Research at the University of Jyväskylä. In her work, she has been focusing on the design and pedagogical use of ICT in learning and working environments. She has extent extensive experience and training supporting and working with practitioners throughout Europe. Her research interest is on the role of ICT and in social media in career guidance. It is both theoretical and practical. It aims at the development of theory-based and evidence-informed pedagogical practices. Her current research focuses on the career practitioner's ways of experiencing and conceptualizing social media in career services. And it is a magical day for Ms. Kettunen tomorrow. Uh, so she's uh, defending her PhD thesis on social media in guidance, and it will be published tomorrow. So I think we can congratulate you already. And, <laughs> and thank you for all this work. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good morning. Is it fine? Yeah. Good morning. Tere Omnikust. And um, in, the defense will be tomorrow, but we can tell that we are going to organize a webinar on the key results later this fall. So you, you will, we will be able to share the results with you as well. Um, we are now going to talk about the analysis of the data, synthesis of the country papers on, on the uh, specific session on the use of ICT. And I'm highlighting that yesterday when I was introducing the uh, part on the, uh, rela in relation to the six theme, it was like a snapshot of the current situation. But the analysis what we were carrying um, on the use of ICT has a slight different focus. So instead of uh, just listing uh, of the uh, concrete examples or case studies of the use of ICT, we wanted to have like a follow-up of the um, data that was collected for the Italian presidency three years ago, 2014. And at that time we were um, analyzing what are the perceptions of the policymakers, how ICT is connected to national lifelong guidance policies, but also the other e-governance um, policies within the country. And um, at this time um, we are aware that this is a quite short time, three years, technology is uh, evolving fast. But um, in this analysis, we tried to identify and describe the perceived development during these year, three years. And um, when we are having today the um, introduction of the ICT tool, that's the, like the practical part of the focus. But now we are trying to provide a tool uh, which you can use uh, when you are looking at your country as a whole. So um, just to give the brief overview or reminding what was the situation in 2004. Uh, at that time, uh, the method was looking at uh, what are the what type of themes emerge or dimensions emerge on the use of ICT um, and its links to pol uh, national guidance policies. We found we were looking at the policies, the rationale um, of the use, and then different approaches in using the ICT and what func guidance function ICT was uh, having, and then also the nature of the online services and uh, funding and also what, uh, what is the nature of distance service. And then we find like four categories and we are reminding that uh, this is not a description of each country, but within the countries we could find this type of variations on the themes and know how ICT was used. And first, uh, countries which were starting the use of ICT, in a way there was an awareness of the need, but uh, it was um, unexploited. And then some, there were indications that there was emerging use and also step by step they were, countries were acknowledging the additional potential or the potential of the ICT but the system was fragmented or the use was fragmented. And then there were some cases of, of the statutory use 
when the countries were trying to have a, a systematic use of ICT. So this was the um, findings uh, 2014, and I hand over to Jana about the findings of this data. The, the recent uh, data, what you provided, uh, revealed that the developments in the use of ICT in, in lifelong guidance was perceived firstly as uh, initial use in ICT in guidance, secondly as a new information and data access, thirdly as a new way, ways of service delivery, and fourthly as a sustaining new ways of service delivery. Each of these categories adds or deepens the previous ones. Like in the, the previous study, we focused on looking and, and uh, finding out where there were clear differences that you express on your responses. So some of those issues that has, uh, where they were more consistent, they don't come up here as a, as a key variation dimensions. There are seven dimensions which were identified this time. These are the areas uh, 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 which we named policy and uh, strat policy and a strategic focus, rational for ICT use, approach to ICT, um, emphasis, conceptual framework, identified system fits for uh, improvement, and then funding. And the, the new one was the, I think it's important, the identified system feature for improvement when we are looking at the development. Yeah. So if we have a little bit closer, closer look on each of the categories. In the first category where the developments in the use of ICT in lifelong guidance was perceived as initial use of ICT in guidance, the focus in, in national guidance strategies or relevant policies is um, on catering and publishing information. The expert rational is to widen and extend access to career services by widening the access to technology. Citizens' limited access and limited use of ICT remains a challenge and hinders the implementation of the use of ICT in lifelong guidance. The approach to ICT is technology focused, meaning that emphasis is placed on, on still on tools and ways of using these tools as a means for delivering information. And emphasis is also placed on the needs to enhance improvement of technological infrastructure. Uh, in, in this category, uh, the concept of framework for career development is still lacking. The identified improvement need in system level is to models and levels of resources. Respondents express that it is difficult to secure funding for the infrastructure and the use of ICD in guidance provision. Challenging economic climate has affected the national funding. Initial efforts are increasingly dependent upon short-term funding, like uh, specific projects. When we move to a second, where the developments in the use of ICT was perceived as new information and data access. The focus in national guidance strategies or relevant policies is now placed on developing the use of ICT. The rationale is widen and extend access to career service by widening access to information. The approach is now content focused, meaning that emphasis is placed on availability of relevant, uh, updated, local context or cultural related mo content which modified to fit the latest ICT technology. Not yet. I just have to turn the paper. <laughs> the emphasis in the development is now on, on consistency on the career information uh, which can support traditional career service through institutional websites and additional services from national, provincial, local and institutional uh, providers. There is acknowledged need in this category for conceptual framework for career development from which to operate to ensure that citizens have access to career services. The identified improvement need is in system level is on modernizing the career service tools and services. And here you, the respondents uh, reported that the use of ad hoc co-funding 
which is mainly from European project funding for developing ICT guidance provision. In the third, where the developments in the use of ICT is perceived as a new ways of uh, service delivery, the focus on national guidance strategies uh, or policies is now expanding to use of ICT, uh, the, the impact of effective services to uh, clients. The express rationale for effectively provide quality services to clients through virtual services environments is highlighted. The approach is to uh, pedagogical or maybe it would be better say to methodologically focused. Um, emphasis is placed on methods of practice and training that improve digital skills of citizens as well as the career practitioners. The successful integration of existing and emerging technologies in career services is not only dependent on the skills or technical facilities available, but also on practitioners' willingness to accept the changes that the new technology may bring to service delivery. There is sectorally agreed conceptual framework regarding career development and online services, but challenges still exist uh, relating to fragmentation of the services and diverse technologies. And the identified improved need in system level is on uh, structural cooperation. Different public actors at ministerial or regional level co-fund the national online services. And in the fourth category, where <coughs> The developments in the use of ICT in lifelong guidance is perceived as sustaining new ways of service delivery. The focus in uh, uh, national guide, guidance services or related policies is on systematizing the use of ICT and improving the efficiency of career guidance services through more efficient use of ICT resources and skills by transforming, excuse me, <coughs> the separate sector-based and provider-centered provision into user-centered lifelong guidance systems. Uh, the approach is systematically focused, which means that uh, a more formal support mechanism in creating a common conceptual framework for modeling the services and effective practices. Here, different uh, public uh, actors and ministerial or regional levels have cross-sectorally agreed conceptual framework for integrated career services. But the identified improved need in system level is on coordination of sustainable development of the services. This includes the development of plans and statements of cooperation and commitment that spells out the joint responsibilities, objectives, agreed contributors or resources, and other aspects of the linked but separate roles of different actors involved. Funding for national online services uh, here is provided often by state. As a whole, this way of doing the analysis of the data gives us a theoretical frame where we can reflect our understanding of the development that is taking place. No single country belongs in one category, but this gives us a possibility to see what are the things and issues that we can take into account when we look how other countries have um, are dealing with some of these issues. And, um, I go back to the results of the poll and the biggest challenge seem, according to your feedback was the fragmentation of the services and um, the, the table if I'm going back to this table this might be one way um, to sort of analyze how we are using the ICT at the moment to what extent if we take into account these elements we could then look at um, the guidance provision as an one entity and then think Yesterday I mentioned that one op uh, opportunity for the ICT is to model and uh, put to bring together the components and features of the system which can be a model of the minimum level services across the sectors to, pro to try to look for op opportunities for coherence using the ICT. Uh, 
as a whole, the findings reveal uh, the development that has taken place uh, during these three years. And as I mentioned, um, we could use the ICT in framing the uh, coherence and the whole conceptual framework which we are using. And one challenge here is also that um, if I go back to the challenge, the fragmentation, we have also conducted research that if we provide uh, services with a networked concept as a cross-sectoral network, it requires a um, new type of leadership. We were talking, yeah, talking about mandate yesterday, but uh, we need also the leadership and management of networks in addition to the organizations which are providing the services. So now using, all, again, ICT in framing the basis, what elements are part of the in entity. And uh, this, this uh, overall understanding is very important when we are looking at the, how we are using the full potential of, of the ICT. And uh, the structure of these categories, we say that um, we can also invite the policymakers to deepen their own understanding of the development and the potential of the I I ICT. And uh, this um, framework can be used also when collecting data and evidence on, on the use of the ICT and developing the system. So it relates, part of the, it relates to the one topic of the seminar. And to conclude, I'm still highlighting and bringing back to this picture and reminding you of the guidelines. The guidelines uh, were collected also, um, we were using research and experiences uh, within the member countries and tried to identify what it is, having the definition, why is it important, and we were listing some features of a successful practice in the country. So I'm inviting you to go revisit the guidelines and use them as a basis in addition to these findings. Thank you. Thank you.